Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. Love yourself before you love others. Wholehearted compassion starts with self-compassion, friends. Do you sometimes feel like it's too much, uh, so much easier to love others than to love yourself? You're always doing for others, but you never do for yourself. To be kind to your friends more uh, than to be kind to yourself. To help others rather than helping yourself. You're not alone. Despite today's um, um, video, there are thousands and thousands of people just like you and me that just love other people before we love ourselves. But that has to change like it changed for me way back when. Despite this video, there are people out there that are going through this. Despite the video that me just saying what needs to be done. There are people that will continue doing out there what they're going to do. Often you are your own worst critic. This is why it's sometimes easier to show compassion to others than to yourself. But you shouldn't give up that easily, my friends. If you want to truly connect with people wholeheartedly, you need to accept yourself wholeheartedly first. Yes, you can still be kind, show compassion, and help others out, but only if it's not at the expense of your own compassion. Only if it's not at the expense of your own compassion, friends, because th that's a recipe for total disaster. If you try to run from being self-compassionate by throwing compassion to everyone around you, you will exhaust yourself out. You will run out of compassion for yourself. You, will, you won't even allow yourself to experience the joy that comes from giving to others. You will simply keep telling yourself it's not enough that you have to do more to help other people. You will do that until the day comes that you realize that you cannot uh, do this anymore, even if you wanted to, that you need to start showing yourself some self-respect and love. When you look in the mirror, what is it that you see? Do you see a person that you truly love? Remember the saying, you can't love others until you love yourself. You will wear yourself out and then you won't be able to help anyone anymore. You don't want to get in that place that you've worn yourself out, believe me. I don't want you to get there either. I've been there a few times and trust me, it is not fun. I've learned to be more compassionate towards myself and realize that what uh, made my compassion towards others so much more powerful is showing myself compassion. I'm not going to lie and say my uh, self-compassion 24-7, but I'm definitely way ahead of where I was a few years back. When I'm struggling by myself, self-compassion, I go back to three exercises which made self-compassion a reality for me. Write your self-talk and see if you'd say these things to your friend. If the answer is no, you know you've got to change your language. Develop a self-compassion phrases to say yourself when you hear the negative self-talk come in. For example, I use phrases like I am focused, determined, and passionate. I am enough just the way I am and I am forever learning and growing, learning to master life. Write a letter to yourself imagining you're the best, most compassionate friend writing to you. Make sure the letter is full of authentic love and praise. Really push yourself to imagine that amazing things your best friend would say to you. Keep the letter and read it back whenever you need that self-compassion boost in the morning or at night. With that, I leave you with to reflect on your compassion. Check your scale and make sure that your compassion is equally balanced to yourself and others. Remember to be kind to yourself first and foremost so you can spread the more wholehearted kindness everywhere you go. Just get a piece of, pencil, a piece of paper and a pencil and pretend you're writing from a friend to you of how great you are, how much that friend loves you. You're just pretending, but write that letter, and then every time you feel down in the morning, read that letter to yourself. And remember, if you really truly want to feel happy, it is nice to help other people. It's nice to give to other people. It's nice to compliment to other people, and it's nice to smile to other people. But if you're only camouflaging your inside where you're not happy with yourself, you're not compassionate with yourself, you're not smiling inner inside yourself, then it's just artificial. It's just for show. Look in the mirror each and every morning and say, do I really like myself? And if you even question what's going on, then it's time for changes.
Start today for a better tomorrow, and may God bless you.